Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Are you looking for the ultimate catfish reel? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show it to you. Well, if you look around any of the catfishing pages online, one of the most common asked questions is, what is a good reel for catching catfish? While any reel will catch catfish, bait casting reels have become very popular with catfish anglers. Why are bait casting reels so popular? Well, one of the biggest advantages they have over other types of reels is their ability to cast far distances. While casting a great distance is not as important to someone fishing from a boat, you guys that are fishing from the bank need as much distance as you can due to your limited access to water. Now there are a lot of brands of bait casting reels out there, but one of the most popular is Abu Garcia. Now in the catfishing community, the Abu Garcia 6500 has become one of the most popular catfishing reels anywhere in America. Now recently, one of my YouTube viewers, Cody, sent me a really special Abu Garcia reel to try out. Now this reel is an Abu Garcia 6500 CS Rocket. Now while this reel is great straight out of the box, Cody sent this reel to the guys down at Pipeline Tackle. Now if you've never heard of Pipeline Tackle, they are a reel repair business down in Alabama. Not only do they repair reels and clean them, but they also do what they call a super tune process. And this is what Cody had done on the reel that he sent me. Check them out. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can reach them. Now, as soon as I got this reel in my hand, I realized it was heavier. So I put it on a scale side by side with an Abu Garcia 6500 and the CS Rocket came in at three and a half ounces more than the standard Abu Garcia 6500 reel. I got it spooled up with some Andy 30 pound monster monofilament, got out on the water and put it to the test. All right, guys, I finally got this reel out of the box and out of the shop. I had a follower on YouTube send me this thing. And uh, Cody, I appreciate it. Sorry it's taking so long. He sent this thing to me literally seven months ago. I'll be honest with you. This reel is so nice and so special and so perfect. I want to take the time to give it, give it its justice that it needs in seeing just how good it is. What we're going to do is put this thing on a rod. I'm going to put it on one of my Hellcat rods. And I'm gonna see just how far I can cast this thing today. Now, by comparison, this is a uh, regular Abu Garcia 6500. You know, they look very similar outside of the fact this one is super, 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 super duper nice. All right, guys, we're gonna give this thing the casting test. This is an incredibly beautiful, sexy reel. We got it on a Hellcat rod, the medium action. This is a great rod for casting. Uh, I've got several of these on the boat. I've got the trolling rods, this rod with the tip, the action, just every, the balance on the rod. If you need something to cast, get this rod. I've got a big old weight. That's probably a four ounce weight. We're going to put some weight on this sucker. We're going to chunk it. I haven't done this yet. Uh, I've just messed around here a little bit to see how it's falling. It's going to probably be a little bit of thumb break on it. We're going to rear back, push the button. And we're going to send it. Here we go, guys. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a lot of line going. Like I said, this is, uh, I guess in professional casting world, they do it differently. This is just an old redneck country boy like me doing this. That's a lot of line off of that reel. That is a lot of line. That is smooth, man. That thing's just seen. I really just thumbed it a little bit at the end. Uh, I just looked at Internal brakes take care of it. I'll try backing off the tension on it and see what happens. See if I can ride a little bit of thumb on it. Man, that dumped a lot of line off of there. I'm telling you, if you guys were bank fishing, it'd be unreal. I'm curious what the guys under at Pipeline Tackle can do with just my old run of the mill eBay special I bought 15 years ago. I'm gonna loosen this up. This is asking for trouble. Woo. It's asking for trouble. Here we go. Boom. I'm not watching when it hits. That's the only problem. Uh, I'm actually watching the spool. I need to pay better attention so I can thumb break it when it hits. That's a lot of line off the thing. Good gracious, that's a lot of line. 
All right, there's no braking on it this time. It's, uh, I might have to thumb it a little bit and see what we can get. Boom. Wow. Wow. Thing's pretty sweet. But what they do is on their Super Tune, they do a whole bunch of special stuff. It's not just a cleaning process. It's, it's some proprietary work they do inside the reel. And for the common guy, you don't have to have it. Uh, it's not something that you have to have done to your reels to be able to catch fish or to fish. But for some folks, like the guy who sent me this reel to try out, he likes those tweaks, those, those little perks. And a little braking on it this time. We're gonna see if we can get by with just the internal braking on it. Still dropping good. Let's send her. Let's send her. Boom. Wow. That is impressive, guys. The good news is, as much as I wanted to put it on the shelf and never use it and let it stay as pretty as it is, let me tell you something. It's hard for me because I get my stuff dirty. I'm not Mr. Meticulous on the cleaning. I got to catch a fish on this thing. So we're going to try to catch a fish on it. Well, after testing out the casting ability of this reel, I decided to try to catch a fish on it, get some slime on it. It took a while, but I finally hooked one. All right, guys, I think it may be a small fish, but the old chrome rocket may be making this Lake Norman debut. Not a big one. We'll take it. This is a lovely reel. I'm telling you, it, it, these things are not for everybody. They're not cheap by any means, but man, if you could load the boat with one reel, that would be it right there. Small blue, I think. Perfect, perfect. We're trying to get some eaters. I'm gonna cook some. This will be a perfect fish for the fillet knife. Yes, good looking blue. Good color. Clean fish. Got some grass coming out of it. A lot of grass starting to show up in this lake again. Chuck this one in the tank for now. Now, sadly, those fish didn't exactly put the upgraded drag in this reel to the test, but later this year, I'm gonna be taking the reel out into some heavy current, trying to hook into a big fish there. And also, we're gonna go salty. We're gonna try to hook into some saltwater fish that might be able to put this drag system to the test. Thanks for watching. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.